De remiddels gaat twee maal langer mee dan mislukte imitatie. This is the BBC, with the Daily Minutes podcast. Oh no it isn't. I mean this is the Daily Minutes podcast. This is however not the BBC. In a hurricane, tornado or earthquake, would you bet your life that the internet and cell phones still work? Would you bet the lives of your family? I don't think so. Ham radio. It works. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. And what a good day to have a good day. Well, it's been more than two weeks ago that I uh, worked on the podcast for the last time. Um, sometimes I have inspiration, sometimes I don't have it, and sometimes I need the inspiration for other things. And the latter was the case uh, here, so well, I left it for uh, until I would have time again. What I want to develop is, is some kind of a uh, start of a podcast that has... Uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes length and several subjects but uh, well it turns out to be quite difficult I have made one subject uh, which is micronations that I have published as uh, a podcast after that I made another subject and I started editing that and it was much too long it was 17, 18 minutes. I believe it might have been 14 minutes, but it's much too long for such an omnibus podcast. I do have another subject which is written out, but it's in Dutch, so I do have to translate it before I can uh, can use it. But I plan to do is to, to use the material that I already have it, it is no it has no purpose to throw that all away I also have some Dutch uh, podcasts that are made in December and never published I think I want to do something with that as well so I might want to publish that in the next couple of weeks maybe days even and uh Then I, then I also have to make uh, several DX headlines in advance. I think uh, maybe five or so, even six might be the case. I don't need them before. I can wait until uh, the end of the month, but uh, I know what will happen then. I won't have uh, a DX headlines for several weeks, so I can bet better start with that this week and uh, make several now in advance and uh, let's see uh, if we do have some inspiration uh, around the deadline around the deadline to make some more but let's have it uh, ready uh, to be used uh, it's not as busy with my work uh, my normal work but i'm working on other things and uh, for example the design of my uh, of my new web shop and well that uh, uses that taps in on my inspiration as well so uh, that is uh, partly the reason that I didn't do much uh, or almost nothing uh, the last couple of weeks I don't like it I've done that in the past uh, many times especially in Dutch uh, but I don't like it anymore to talk uh, I don't like it anymore to talk much about uh, plans for the for the podcast because they they keep changing and uh, Well, I know writers often think it brings bad luck to talk about the book you are working on. And well, I'm not superstitious, so uh, I don't think that is the case. But it doesn't work out very well if you tell too much about your plans. Because they change, people get expectations. And also, it's nice to look forward to uh, the reactions that you will have with the finished, project, with the finish, finished product. And if you spoil that by spilling the beans too early, well, you peak too soon and uh, the fun of it is partly gone. So uh, I, 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 do have to, I do need that. I do need uh, not, not as much as an applause, but uh, 
I do need some reactions to it, especially from people I know, because people that I don't know often are critically at the at the wrong places. Uh, you, you're allowed to be critical, but uh, if you don't know what I'm aiming for, you can be uh, critical on what I miss. But I'm not aiming for that target uh, in the first place. So uh, um, I've had that a lot when I had my uh, my weblog where I couldn't switch off the com comments, so <laughs> that was trouble. The, there, were, uh, there was a lot of spam uh, coming in, but also uh, some undesired response, and uh, that wasn't nice. And at the start of it, it uh, this, this wasn't that nasty, but, uh, well, let's not talk about that. But uh, it's good to have something to look forward to, so uh, I won't uh, tell much about what I... Uh, plan because well it might not work out it might work out uh, a lot different and uh, let me surprise you well so that's what i'm planning to do i uh, don't make any promises but i do want to work at it and it might develop into uh, something with uh, video as well well not not at first but i all, i leave all options open um, it might develop into a broadcast on, uh, for example, WRMI each week or each fortnight. But it might also be, i uh, rather do something on video. Well, uh, I'm not a great fan of YouTube, but I don't have an alternative that is affordable enough. So uh, I think I might have to stick with them for now. And maybe later, you know, you never know. But, uh, well, video is much in the future now. I, I, I plan to do some uh, experiments with uh, my shortwave equipment, uh, pedestrian mobile, and I will videotape this. Now, not, not tape, I'll record, <laughs> record that. Um, well, you still can buy VHF tapes, uh, but you have to look for them very well. But uh, they're, st they're still available. <laughs> and uh, recorders as well. But also you have to look for them. Uh, all fun apart, but uh, I, spe I especially want to do some experiments with Whisper, which I have done. I'm not a great fan of Whisper, so it's not that I'm very much into it now. But uh, I do want to do some uh, pedestrian experiments where I exchange antennas and uh, try to find out if, uh, if I can see uh, the difference be be between several uh, antenna types. So that would be nice. Uh, you have to do quite, a, quite long walks because it's not seen as social if you're uh, having your transmissions in, on Whisper too uh, close to uh, uh, each other. You might uh, need uh, t five or ten minutes in between them. So you, uh, if you want to have six uh, transmissions, you uh, have to walk uh, for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, but I had an idea. The location uh, that Whisper uh, offers you is not too, too uh, accurate. But I can use my own uh, PI3 XTV repeater to put my position on uh, APRS using uh, D-Star and that would be uh, much more accurate but uh, Whisper Portable Pedestrian Mobile I'm very curious and also looking forward to that so uh, that are some of the plans I have uh, some other new things I might want to talk about it I'm, I'm, I don't know if I want to uh, include my commercial activities in the podcast yet but I might do, as, do that as well because some things might be quite interesting and I would uh, publish about them if they were uh, someone else's project as well. Now, that's not completely clear. I might uh, give that away to another podcaster as well or a vlogger or whatever. <laughs> okay, well, it's a bit chaotic, this, uh, this podcast, but uh, it ain't no different. Till next time. And watch this podcast and YouTube channel for new episodes. Title music is by Croatian artist Blasco and is published under Creative Commons. Disclaimer, everything in this podcast, including the accompanying material, as a principle, is basically all fiction. Although elements of reality may have been incorporated. Deze uitzending wordt opgedragen aan Jurgen van der Broek. Voor altijd de Joker van België.